when you get a question like this where you've got like these numbers like a 10, a 4, and a 25, all that you do is you need to break those numbers down into prime numbers. So the way that we do this is you take the number 10, for example, and you say equals on your calculator, then you say shift, and then you look for, on the Casio calculators, about three rows down, it's not on the button, but it's written just above the button, it says fact. Okay, maybe your teacher has showed you this. Then you press that, and what it will do is it'll show you that 10 is the same as two times five. So what we'll do is we'll change the 10 to two times five. And then that'll be to the power of two X plus three. And then the four will be two to the power of two. And then you put a bracket, one minus X. And then 25 will be five to the power of two. And then two plus X like that. What we now do is we need to get rid of these brackets. So this two has an exponent of one and this five has an exponent of one. So what we are gonna do now is we are gonna use the exponent rule that goes like this. If you have a three to the power of two, what do we normally do with those? Do we plus them or do we multiply them? Well, well done if you remember that we multiply. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this two x plus three and we're gonna multiply it to there and to there. Then we're gonna do the same with this one and that two. And then we're gonna do the same with this one and that two. And so that's gonna become two to the power of two x plus three, and then five to the power of two x plus three. And then this one is gonna become two to the power of two minus, whoopsie, two minus two x. And then at the bottom, we're gonna end up with five to the power of two, sorry, four, come on, Kev. <laughs> four plus two x. Okay, now what we do is we look at the top. Okay, so just look at the top. Do you see anything, any terms that have the same base? Or well, yes, these two over here, they are the same. So what, what would you do with this exponent rule over here? If you have a3 and then you have a2, how does the exponent rule work? Well, you keep it as a, so you don't change that. And then what do you do with the three and the two? You add them together. So that'll become three plus two, and so this is gonna be a to the power of five. So what we'll do, because what a lot of students want to do is they wanna take this two and this two, and they wanna turn it into a four. So they wanna say two times two is four, but that's not what we did here. We kept this number at the bottom as the same. So you're gonna say two, and then you're gonna add these exponents together. So that's gonna be two x plus three, plus two minus two x. And then this one is gonna be five. Oh, I'm gonna run out of space. Let me just move this up a bit. So it's gonna be two to the power of two x plus three plus two minus two x. And then we'll be left with the five, which is still there. Okay. And then at the bottom, we're gonna have five to the four plus two x. All right, I decided to move it over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna combine all of this. So that's gonna become two to the power of, oh, the two X and the minus two X, they would cancel. So we just end up with two to the five, and then we still have the five to the two X plus three, and then at the bottom, we still have the five and then four plus two X. Okay, so now, what would the, what, what exponent rule, what would you do with an, exam, an example like this? If you have, for example, A7, over a3, then what do you do with your exponents? You minus them, so seven minus three is four. But you don't change the a. What a lot of students try to do here is they wanna cancel out the fives, but that's not correct. If it was a five by itself, then of course you could cancel them. But because they are exponents, we have to stick to exponent rules. Okay, so what we're gonna have now is we're gonna keep that as two to the five, and then we're gonna say five to the two x plus three minus, then we're gonna say in brackets, four plus two x. You see what I did? I took these top exponents minus the bottom exponents. And so that's gonna be two to the five. And then this is gonna be five to the two x plus three minus four minus two x. And so that'll be two to the five. And then these two x's are gonna cancel. And then you're gonna have three minus four, which is minus one. And so what we then do, because we don't wanna have negative exponents, so what we'll do is we'll put that back down at the bottom. 
So we'll say two to the five and then over five to the one. And then we could work that out. So two to the five is 32. So sorry, I'm gonna write the final answer here. The final answer then would then be 32 over five.